I'm the gay Tupac. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm in a mood. So if you've been living under a rock or just avoiding the news so as to avoid spiraling into a deep depression like me, you might not have heard of the Jesse Smollett story. So here's a brief catch up on the story. Jesse Smollett, actor from the TV show Empire, was walking to Subway at 2 a.m. in horrendous weather in Chicago, which we all know is basically frozen. It's Pluto at this point. Jesse alleges that all of a sudden, two white Trump supporters jumped him, poured bleach on him, put a noose around his neck, and beat him up. He alleged that they yelled, this is MAGA country, as they were beating him, and also yelling racist and homophobic slurs, so a hate crime. So yeah, two Trump supporters were walking around at 2 a.m. in negative a million degrees in Chicago, carrying bleach, carrying a noose, and happened to see a famous actor and attacked him. Seems totally plausible. So now it's come out that Jesse hoaxed it all, faked it. Yeah. Police have officially shifted the trajectory of the investigation as a possible hate crime to a possible hoax. Chicago police are now looking into whether Empire actor Jesse Smollett actually paid two men to fake an attack against him. And we're gonna get into all those details and I'm gonna explain the title of this video, Jesse Smollett is a liar, objectively true, and I'll tell you why. But first, let's take it back. So when I first initially heard about this story, I was horrified. Think back to the very famous case of Matthew Shepard. You know, this kind of thing does unfortunately happen. But as I was reading the details and what he alleged happened, the, you know, strangers walking around with bleach and a noose and saying this is MAGA country, something that I don't think anyone has like ever said ever, um, I was starting to think, okay, this is a little fishy. It all just seemed like a telenovela script to me. It all seemed like, you know, the perfect caricature and stereotype of what so many liberals think Trump supporters are like as in walking around beating up minorities and saying this is MAGA country. Like it's just very corny and it's exactly what so many people think Trump supporters are actually like. Like it's the perfect stereotype, you know what I mean? But I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make a video. I'm gonna hold out on this because I feel like, you know, I don't wanna look like an idiot if it comes out, this really happened. This once in a million thing really did happen. But I called it, I was like, this might not be entirely true, but there's absolutely aspects of it that I think are fabricated. And it's coming out that I was right. So police found surveillance video of the two perpetrators of this crime and brought them in, arrested them, and questioned them. So here's a very important detail and a huge discrepancy in Jesse Smollett's allegations. The dudes were not white. They were two Nigerian brothers who have been extras on Empire, his TV show. So right off the bat, Jesse is found out to be a liar because Jesse described them as white. Period. So even if it comes out that he was legitimately attacked, that alone is a lie. So these two Nigerian men are now in custody being questioned by police and they actually snitch on Jesse. They tell them that Jesse paid them $3,500 to stage the attack. And they say they actually rehearsed it before they did it. And can I just say, I would absolutely snitch as well. You're gonna pay me $3,500 to take the fall for a hate crime? Girl, bye. So Jesse is now lawyered up and he's defending himself, saying this isn't true and that he's devastated that the people who attacked him happened to be extras on his show. Ugh. But as far as I'm concerned, there are way too many holes in this story from the corny script that was written up for this to the fact that he said they were white, but they ended up being Nigerian. I don't know how you can make that mistake, to be honest. If two people attacked me, I, I would know what color skin they have. So the story is gonna further develop and there might even be more developments before I even upload. But as of now on Sunday, it's looking really bad for Jesse Smollett. And he said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. And then um, we started tussling, you know, it was very icy. And we ended up tussling by the stage. Right. And above all, I fought the fuck back. I think he has officially ruined his life by coming out and faking this and you know it's so upsetting I think it is such a shame to waste police resources like this to further sow the division that's already present in the country by making this up half the country already hates the other half of the country right now and vice versa and this is the exact kind of story that would thrive in an environment like this but it is so toxic it's also so incredibly disrespectful to anyone who has been a victim of one of these crimes i mean it's disgusting. Like, how do two white Trump supporters become two Nigerian brothers who were extras on your TV show? 
So as of right now, in the investigation, the police have officially removed Jesse from being classified as a victim. So he is no longer considered a victim in his own case. I'm gonna insert this little clip of a podcast that I did a week ago in which we were talking about the Jesse Smollett case. And I just wanna show that I called this. To me, for my personal opinion, based on the um, the things that have come out about it so far, um, it, the story seems fishy to me. That's not saying it didn't happen. That's saying I want harder evidence because it's hard to take it at face value so far. Right. Now I have to say, if I'm wrong about this and the Chicago police are wrong about this and everyone's wrong about this, I am going to eat crow on this channel. I will literally find a way to get crow. I don't think you can just buy it at the grocery store, girl, but I will get crow and I will eat it if I'm wrong. This type of lie is super unacceptable. And by the way, I believe it is a felony to fake a hate crime. So Jesse, you're screwed. And I think it's so incredibly sad that everyone jumped to believe this story right off the bat when to me, it was incredibly fishy off the bat. But if you said that, you were gonna get stoned, basically. That's why I kept my mouth shut until now, honey. I was actually shocked. I was like, how do other people not think this sounds incredibly fishy? But then you realize, you know, so many people in the country really genuinely believe that that is what Trump supporters are. There are people who walk around saying, this is MAGA country, this is MAGA country, and looking for minorities to assault. They really think that's what it is. That to them makes 110% sense, and they probably wonder why it didn't happen sooner. But to anyone who has any kind of grasp on what the average Trump supporter actually is, I don't think it fooled anyone for a second. And again, I'm gonna eat crow if I'm wrong about this, but I really don't think I am, like I said. The implications of this are so huge. It further sows the division in the country. It makes it harder for actual victims to be believed in the future. This story does nothing for anybody's community. And I have to say, I find this tweet by Jesse 48 hours before the alleged attack so incredibly ironic and telling. Frauds are everywhere, y'all. Protect the mind, heart, and spirit of you and your people at all costs. Just remember, salt, cocaine, and anthrax can all appear to be sugar. The refined kind, of course. Just be careful out here, fam. Happy Sunday. Love you. Real talk. Love on. You are the cocaine masked as the sugar, Jesse. I hope he is arrested. I hope he's put in prison. And this is a pipe dream of mine, but I really hope this does not affect the credibility of people in the future who come out and say, this happened to me. I'm a victim of a hate crime as well. You know, because that's so crappy. And I think this, along with the Covington boys story, along with the story I covered back in October about Trump removing all the rights of transgender people, which turned out to be false again. I think with all those stories, people really need to take a look at journalism today. People really need to make rational, objective, and honest observations of the world around them, the Trump supporters, the liberals around them, see people for who they really are and not view people in this caricaturized way where it becomes believable that someone that supports Trump is walking around with bleach and a noose and saying, this is MAGA country. Like, that's not a real person. I think that if everything ends up looking how it's looking now, Jesse is an incredibly disgusting person for doing this. I think he should never be forgiven. I think he should be arrested. I think he should never be allowed to work in film again. And I hope that all the people that came out in support of Jesse are willing to retract that. One of my very liberal friends messaged me this morning about the story and how it's coming out that he probably faked it now. And my friend said that this is probably the biggest win for the Trump administration and Trump supporters since him actually winning the election to become president and how this is like the biggest gift to them. And I understand how you can look at it that way, but to me, I feel like no one won in this situation at all. I feel like this type of story, accusation, hoax, whatever you want to call it, does nothing but hurt people. It makes people hate each other. All right, guys, I think that is it for this video. I will say, please comment your thoughts on this one. I really want to just gauge what my audience thinks about this. I know that a lot of my followers are from, I have lefties, I have righties, I have Trump supporters, I have Trump haters. I have a lot of people from all across the aisle that follow me. So I really want to know what you guys think. I will read every single comment as always. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. If you want me to love you forever and ever and ever, please become a member to this channel. It helps out immensely. I post exclusive videos on this channel that only members can watch, so you have to join to watch them, and usually they're like an hour long. I post really, really long stuff, and I feel like people really enjoy it, and it helps me connect with those of you that are members a lot better and just get to know you guys, so definitely become a member if you want to support me and join the club. And until I see you guys in the next video, believe half of what you see and none of what you read, unless you're watching the Blair White channel or reading something from me. Love you!